Hello everyone, I am Roy Kim and you're watching the AU Review. And what was the songwriting process like for the album Home? Uh, I don't I don't usually write songs to to release at a certain date. I just usually write it whenever I feel like I should. And um I think uh maybe two two or three years ago I would I would write when I'm happy uh and really excited. But these days I think I write more during uh really when there's a lot of thinking going on and uh sad or lonely so I think that's one of the reasons why uh, my second album has become a little more deep or, or sad definitely more mature than the first I think thank you so yeah songwriting process it's just uh, if there's a guitar I would just pick it up and start playing anything really and if I like the chords I would record it on my iPhone and um, uh, there's a notebook that I write whatever I, I'm thinking at the moment. And uh, I would read through whatever I wrote. And then if I see, see a word or, or a sentence that I wrote that I could connect at that moment, then I'll, I would start writing the lyrics on top of the chords. And yeah, it just really comes out naturally. And let's talk about your national tour that you have mm -hmm. coming up very shortly to promote home. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, can you talk a little bit about the tour that you've got coming up? Yeah, it, it's starting really the day after tomorrow, I think, uh, from Saturday uh, 25th and 26th. I start from Seoul, going to Busan, Daegu, Daejeon, Changwon. And really, concert tour is, is one of the biggest reasons why I love music. Um, and um, it's my second tour, and I, uh, during the first tour, I, I just totally fell in love with performing. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it'll be a chance for, for my fans to listen to an actual live performance of the entire second album. So I think it'll be fun. And the concept also is, is home, so I, I hope the audiences would come easily wearing a pajamas or, or just boxers. Well, everyone... <laughs> watching yeah bring bring pajamas <laughs> yeah just just come as if you're just going to the, the theaters to during the weekends um and i hope you could come and watch this show without any thinking just just easy watching and then by the time you go back i hope that my performances would be remembered um have you been to australia before and no um, would you I like to come to australia Yes, yeah, like I've said before, I, I love Matt Corby, so I would hopefully someday figure out a way to go there and uh, go to one of the shows or something. So it's kind of a little bit different story, a uh, different question. Um, what's been your favorite song or album this year and why? This year, I, I, I like Ben Howard's al album that just came out. And uh, yeah, I mean, he, he never fails to to hit above the expectations of, of the audiences. So, yeah, whatever he does with, with his guitar is just... And his style also, his, his, his fashion style too has just... I don't know. <laughs> I, That's a good pick. Yeah. It's a really good pick. I didn't expect that actually. Really? I didn't expect you to say Ben Howard. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Uh, do you have a dream artist collaboration or duet? Gosh. Is there someone you really want to work with? Uh, first, I would say top two is Glenn Hensard and uh, Damon Rice. But Are you a big fan of Once, the movie? Yes, Once. Yeah, before Once, I was... The, the starting, I guess, uh, starting musician for me was Damon Rice. And um, yeah, he's coming up with his new album, too, pretty soon, so... So you're a fan of Cannonball back then? Oh my gosh. Yeah, his album O and album 9 both were just beautiful. Yeah. I guess uh, this bit of a reflection question. Looking back to when you won Superstar K4 mm -hmm. to now, 
What have you changed as an artist from back then? Back then, uh, I mean, as a show goes, because the goal for me during the show was to, was to win. So uh, I just chose the songs that really the people would like and or the judges would like. Uh, but nowadays, it's, it's uh, I guess the music works a little more personal than than the songs that I did during the audition, and uh, especially because I, I I write my my own songs. Um, I guess I don't write songs to to fit uh, the public's appetite. But yeah, I, I think I've I've tr- I'm trying to let go of that desire to to make it really big or to make it a really popular song so without the desire uh, the music goes really naturally more easily so yeah and and after i make make a song from there uh it's not my job but but the public's job to to listen and um make it viral so yeah i'm just trying to keep that desire away from um, me do you have a message uh, for your fans out there yeah uh well thank you first first of all thank you so much for for liking my music and yeah i really didn't expect this much of love for for my second album but i uh, i've been getting much more much more reactions than, than I expected. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you at my concert. Roy right, Kim, it's uh, been wonderful to talk to you today. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you. Congratulations again on your album Home. And everyone at home should check it out. It's a stunning <laughs> album. So thank you for talking to me. We hope to see you in Australia one day. Yeah. Hopefully we can go to a Matt Corby concert. And, uh, Please. <laughs> I will love it. And uh, yeah, uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.